How are we going to recover from this? I seriously don't know. One way or another, we're headed forward. You want to talk? <laughs> you uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think is about happen? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey, how you doing? Don't talk to my girl. Just stay away from her. Excuse me, son? I heard you told her she was gonna die. That she was gonna end up like Duck. Why'd you go and do that? Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. That y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. What for? I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled. Jesus. Styled? You gotta run around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work, and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean, when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past. Oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. All right, then. Whether we like it or not, he's got a lot of good points. Hey, man. You and me, we... Oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat would be uh, okay with you, so forget it. Okay. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? All right, let's leave him alone for now. Let's get out of here, and let's see what Ben's up to. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. 
The homeless dude, if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just like a famous meme in this game, and I just had to do it right there because it's like the greatest thing in this game right here. Hey. Ben. hey. See you. <laughs> yeah. Like, with like the most depressing chapter we've had so far, like when we just have this of great picker upper happen. Oh, uh, it's very much appreciated. No one else is appreciated? He's a smooth criminal. No, uh, no, 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 Lee. Don't go back in the door all by yourself. Come on, man. I was just trying to be a smooth criminal. Ah, oh, god darn it. Can't have any fun in this game. Alright, then. Let's get out of here. Or rather, let's get in here. And hey, look. It's a drank. Let's go ahead and get this bottle of whiskey. Whiskey, you just met me. Ah, oh, god darn it. Oh, worst let's player ever. Let's open this up. Got scissors. They look clean enough. And last but not least, Clementine. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. Uh, okay, looks like we're gonna teach her to shoot now. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Or not standing right near an open train? First, or sitting outside of it? Jeez. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Squeeze the trigger. Steadily, okay? Don't give it a quick yank or pull. Steady. I can do that. Every time. It'll be tough, but just remember to do that. You'll hit what you're aiming at. Okay. I'm ready. Alright. Let's see if you can shoot somebody a question. Or some Good. bottle a question. Don't your elbows. Okay. Let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Uh... Bit to the right. Alright then. Aim higher. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. And higher. Okay, a little higher. We did it! I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Alright, time for attempt number two. Here. That goes to the left. A little bit more to the left. And lower. Aim lower. 
What? Aim more to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. There you go. There you go. Nice. Chuck comes in here. What the heck did you do to my bottle collection? Uh, sorry. What do you expect me to shoot my Girl Scout cookies? I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I squeezed the trigger, just like you said. I know. You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. Alright, now for the other part that she's not gonna like. Hey, Clint. Hi. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Probably. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Aww. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Cut hair or wait. Now let's just leave after discussing it. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Alright then. You wanna like yeah, do thank you. you. Know how, to do this? how hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. Personally, I prefer girls with short hair. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. No, it's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Sleeping. There. All set. Aw, poor Isn't Clem. Dumb. <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. At least you still got your hat. Aw. I prefer her fluffy wuffy hair, to be honest, but her hair's a lot safer now. Alright then. Now that that's taken care of, let's go and bring this bottle over to Chuck. So for pretty much every Pass playthrough. I have to. Oh wait, real quick. Hey Ben. Hey. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good old Hey Ben. See ya. He's a smooth criminal. Uh, so pretty much every playthrough I've had, I've had the game glitch out where the cursor just wouldn't work after I left the uh uh area Kenny's in. Like after I went outside, the cursor just wouldn't work. I wasn't able to talk to Ben or go into the car or anything. I'd have to restart the game. And there's also a famous glitch that happens where uh, you actually fall through the floor, which is sort of weird, but thankfully that hasn't happened. Now we can just go ahead and it's all smooth sailing. Gee, you'd think in the LP we'd have all these problems, but actually no. They're actually being nice to me for once. I found this in your packet. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Eh, I'm not a fan of drinking. No, I'm fine. Decided not to share a drink with Chuck. Sorry. Alcohol's not my thing. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Hey, Clem, want a drink? No. Alright, let's go ahead and... I think we know who needs a drink more than anybody right now. 
Hey. Yeah? Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah. That'd help. Alright, now that he's gone, let's grab this map. And put it in our pants. It just disappears. Of course. Thanks. Alright then. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but that just never gets old. It's great that we can just do that over and over, and all the serious and important stuff is all out of the way. Uh, it's just jokes from here on over. It was me. Wait, oh. what did you just say? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. Oh my god! Are you stinking serious? It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody can see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Please, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend! I didn't know what to do! Please, please! Please! <laughs> Alright, you got laid off easy I just because we someone. got to make a lead pun. I bet you did. Hey, Ben. No. You're not even worth a see ya anymore. God darn it. That stinks. Pretty much everything bad that could have happened, happened. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're, we're a team, you know? The team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. Exactly. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Good. All right. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. If they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. I hope so. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. Really? The, um, um, something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. So we'll head there. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. About us? Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody. Hello. 